All right, so I got a question for you all. What do you get when Cardi B and Takashi snitch nine and have a baby? Well, yeah. you get to always I don't know my body, I pull up and then I flat. Ay, ice cold with diamonds holding on my neck. Ay, fake niggas see through, you can call it x-ray. Real niggas see through, I call it my gang. Yo, what's going on YouTube time staff and you guys? So it's been about eight months since I made my last Dr. Phil video and the last one we made was insane. Did I ask that question? You just literally- I asked who gave us a blanket? But in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the definition of insanity. Platinum world domination! Hold up, cause I'm really back in action. What's up? What up? What up, dude? Talk to me now! <laughs> So this girl goes by the name of Telly Zelby and she claims herself to be the female Drake. What? No joke, but this girl actually thinks she's a famous rapper or something. Sound familiar? Catch me outside, how about that? Yup, sounds like another wannabe Danielle Bergoli. But I mean, I can't lie, she went from being a spoiled brat on Dr. Phil to becoming a successful rapper who makes millions of dollars a year. Now that takes talent. Take a look at the infamous sexy vegan for example. He went from being an attention seeking bitch to a dog <laughs> fucking bitch. Yeah, like actually. You know, if you love animals and you want to be vegan, that's completely fine. That's your choice and that's great. But it seems like this guy loves animals a little too much. But just before we get into this, if y'all could leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, it really would mean a lot. But anyway, guys, as always, let's roll the clip. Joshua, my brother, is my left hand, my backbone, my right to die. Without my brother Josh, a lot of things would have not been possible. Okay, hold up a second. What happened to this girl's eyeballs? Like, is she on LSD or something? They're actually non-existent. And just following my passion for music. It could get real, but please don't let it. I am the female Drake. You're the dollar store version of Cardi B. That's what you are. For real though, tell me that this song. You over who, man, come again. Doesn't sound like this song. I gotta fly, I need a jet, shit, I need room for my leg. Ratchet Lola the shark looking ass. And everything going on with my family, I know that Josh would not even think twice to have my back. What? what? Why does that smile look so fake? Like, what is that? Who listens to music like that? But he be looking like he on the verge of jumping off a cliff to looking like he high in a bowl of Lucky Charms. Also, come on, Dr. Phil. I expect better editing. I mean, let's be real. He probably ain't even watching his sister sing in that clip of him smiling. He's got a straight face watching her sing, and then as soon as the camera cuts, looking like he's staring at his first pair of titties. Josh, if you watching this right now, bro, you already know the vibes. Gang, gang, one, I love you, two, but everybody else gotta think if you on my team, which I already know you are, and you gonna keep being there, bro. We going to the top, and you know I'm taking you with me. You know you're the only one. I love you. <laughs> what? Pardon me. Pourquoi? Que? Can I please get a dictionary? Like, goddamn, she actually sounds like a baby. <laughs> Trust me, I get 21st century slang, but this girl is trying way too hard at being someone she clearly isn't. You know what saying gang gang and throwing these signs in the air make you? An attention seeker and someone who wishes that they were like Drake, Kendrick, Nikki, someone who literally started at the bottom from nothing and now are at the top making millions of dollars a year. I don't have a life. What I did was decide to go and get my tattoo. And my tattoo basically says what I need everybody to read when they're not feeling me or when they don't agree with me. And that suck my d <laughs> Look, I get that tattoos are meant to express yourself. And with that being said, that they can be very subjective. And I also wouldn't mind getting one or two myself in the future. But I could give you a million reasons why. Getting a tattoo on your forehead that says suck my dick is just... A horrible idea. First of all, good luck to you getting a job once that rap career fails because I don't know who on earth is gonna hire you with that quote on your face. I could just picture this girl in the workplace. Hey you, freeze! Yeah, that's right. Get on your knees. Now instead of saying you're under arrest, like most police officers would say to a criminal, with Tally Zell, it would go a little something like this. Put your hands behind your back and suck my fucking dick. For real though, I just gotta say. Good luck to this girl trying to pick up some guys at the bar. You're gonna have some handsome looking guy approaching, you know, it's going all good. You're talking about, I don't know, what's what's trendy these days. 
Ivan Steph. Y'all know that one YouTuber? Uh, Ivan Steph. Yeah. Yeah, I'm instead, yeah. You know him? Yeah, he's a, he's a cutie. Yeah. Anyway, so y'all be talking, but it ask if he can take you home, and you get nervous, so you slick your hair back, revealing that tattoo. And let's just say he's probably gonna take that tattoo literal and think you're a dude. <laughs> When I got my tattoo, I decided to film it because I knew I Because you know your music's ass and that that's the only way you're ever gonna get attention. I, I was actually gonna plan on going for another one soon. <laughs> I'm gonna do and commit to doing what I wanna do. Yeah! What was that? Yeah! She literally sounded like a bird. Yeah! 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 <laughs> I'm here, what's up, baby? Nice to doing? meet you, Phil. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. Yeah? What's up, what it do, what's up, what up, what up, what up? So, uh... Damn. Wow, I gotta give it to her. That was one exhilarating introduction. Just look at the crowd. Awesome. What's up, what it do, what's up, what up, what up, what up? Excitement. You know, it, it's just funny how this girl thinks she's so relevant. But he is quite the opposite. No one knows who this girl is. And will people know who she is after Dr. Phil? I mean, maybe because like I'm making a video on her. Just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm irrelevant as well. I, I'm not going to lie. Did she have this heavy of an accent in high school? No. And, and now I'm like, don't talk to Hi, mom. How you want me to talk? And I'm like, damn it. How you used to talk last month? I'm like, I'm so confused. <laughs> Like, no, no, like no. there's levels to people. Like, okay, because I was 16 year old me. Nobody's gonna be the same person they was when they were 16, 17, I up until they 25, oh, right? Agree. Yeah, people change, but people don't change that fast. You don't go from being Dora the Explorer one month and then Laura Croft the next, a cute lizard one day, and then a fing Tyrannosaurus Rex the next. Do you guys notice what I did there? Laura, Dora, Tyrannosaurus Rex, next. Lyrical genius. See, look, that only took me like five seconds to come up with, and I am already better than Telly Zelly. You know, I feel like that this girl failed her physics exam around the same time that Takashi Snitch9 went to prison and thought it was that it would be a great idea to drop out of college and become a rapper. Let's take a look at Josh. In my eyes, Telly Zelly is brilliant. She's very talented. So when it comes to my sister, Telly Zelly, she's a musical genius. Listen, I'm a young girl from the trenches. <laughs> Sorry. Come again. Did I hear that right? Musical genius? What part of that was genius? You know, I wanna know how much Tell Zali paid her brother to lie. This girl rapped about being from the trenches. And I'm a young girl from the trenches. You know, like in the hood, growing up in poverty, but she's not even from the trenches. It just teaches me how this girl isn't authentic and she's not true to what she is saying. She wasn't from the trenches like she claimed to be. She literally won a four year college scholarship. I did really well in school. I got all straight A's. In the base, she was very successful. She won medals, she had trophies. Telly did have aspirations to be a marine biologist. She won that competition and she was given a four-year scholarship to college. And her bio on Dr. Phil literally says, went from being an A student to college dropout pursuing rap career. So how are you gonna rap about you being from the hood, acting like you had nothing, when you literally had everything given to you? And on top of that, your mother's paying for your whole rap career. Until she has to work to get it, you're going to allow her to drop out of school, live in your house, go around, get tattoos on her face, and you're funding it all. All right, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of Telly Zelly. Do you think Telly Zelly is the next Danielle Bergoli? And with that, I mean, do you think that she's going to be the next, you know, internet star? Do you think she's actually going to kind of make it in the rap game? Do you think she's going to become successful? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. But once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Why you got a wall like that? I'm telling y'all. Bitch cool, out of paper tag. I'm telling y'all. Shorty say she like my swag.